Hi guys, this is I'm Stark, and today we are talking about the Bosnian Crisis and the Balkans Wars and their effect they had on the start of World War I. So first of all we're going to talk about the Bosnian Crisis and the actual events of the Bosnian Crisis. So firstly we need to know that what the Balkans are in Eastern Europe and most of the Balkans were occupied by the Slavs in which Serbia was the largest state. Now they aimed to unite all the states under a Serb leadership. However, Austria-Hungary also had Slavs in their empire, and they worried that they might unite under Serbia. So basically, if Serbia were to take over um, the Balkans, then Austria-Hungary would be broken up as they were an empire made of lots of different nationalities. So in 1908, there was a revolution in Turkey where the Ottoman Empire basically left. Um, and this meant that Austria-Hungary annexed Bosnia. So annexed basically means take over or um, invade basically. Now Serbia then appealed to Russia and because um, Russia were good friends with Serbia they backed um, they backed them. However the Kaiser um, when the Austria-Hungary appealed to Germany the Kaiser although he was annoyed with Austria-Hungary he did back them. Now this is probably because if you watch my Moroccan crisis video in 1906, Austria-Hungary were the only big power who supported Germany at Al Jazeera's conference. Um, now, because um, Russia were too weak against the German um, the German forces, it meant that Russia had to um, had to back down. So this B B Bosnian crisis had many effects and actually started to cause um, World War One, but World War One a reality. So first of all, Austria-Hungary felt that they had the full support of Germany, which affected how they acted in 1914 after the murder of Franz Ferdinand. If you want to learn more about that murder, watch my World War I video about how it started. Furthermore, Italy became less keen on the Triple Alliance, which um, ultimately left them leaving the Triple Alliance and joining the Allies in World War I. Um, Russia had also been humiliated which meant that they had started to make military improvements. And it also brought Russia, Britain and France closer together as the all disliked Germany. Now these were all in an agreement called the Triple Entente, um, which you can find out more about in my Alliance um, video. However, it's basically when they were all together, they acted more of a power. And finally, Serbia were determined to oppose Austria-Hungary. So that's one reason why they set up the Black Hand Gang. So if we go forward about four years and there was the Balkan Wars. So Serbia were the biggest country in the Balkans and they were enlarged after victory in the 1912 to 1913 Balkan Wars. Um, however, Austria-Hungary were concerned at this con uh, success um, as before I said that they were worried that their empire might be broken up and they looked for an excuse to defeat it to prevent the breakup of Austria-Hungary. So many Serbs living in Bosnia were unhappy under this Austria-Hungarian rule. So in 1911, 10 men um, had formed the Black Hand Gang, which had around 2,500 members um, by 1914. Um, and they would kill Franz Ferdinand to show opposition to this Austria-Hungary uh, rule, which eventually ended up with World War I as... Um, as Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia, however more on that in my First World War video. But basically this Balkans crisis has led to the, basically what happened was Austria-Hungary were looking for an excuse to um, to put down Serbia as, the, as Serbia were rising up against them and Serbia were becoming more powerful and a threat to them. So thank you for watching this video and if you can please go to my channel, subscribe and like this video, that'd be great. So thank you and see you soon. Bye.